I'll just share my screen and show you my prepared slides. Yeah, again, just and then just 30 seconds on, on what Trafford Data Lab is as well. That'll be yeah, good. Yeah, cool. Okay, well, I'm Henry Partridge, uh, manager of the Trafford Data Lab. We're based in, well, funded and based by Trafford Council in Greater Manchester. Uh, we're a small team uh, and we basically use open data, publish open data, and create uh, visualizations and dashboards and apps using open source tools to provide insight to the council residents. And we try and scale up some of our apps and dashboards so that other local authorities can use them as well, as hopefully we'll demonstrate in, in these slides. Um, let me just, sorry, I've got to give security permissions to share my, sorry. <laughs> no worries, Henry. If, um, if it re becomes really problematic, I have got them uh, loaded up on my well, screen, ready great. to share yeah, if that's that. easier. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Bear with me. So just tell me when uh, I need to change slides. Okay. Thank you. I'll just full screen that. There great. we go. Okay, so it's called decentralizing COVID nineteen reporting with our shiny. Next, next, please. Okay. So you probably remember this from March, April time. This is the official dashboard uh, produced by Public Health England, uh, created in ArcGIS. Um, you know, as far as it goes, it's, it's fine, it's clear. Uh, but we, we, we thought maybe we could do better than this. Uh, next slide. And here's another output from uh, another government department. This is uh, LG Inform. This is... Uh, uh, screenshot from one of the, their dashboard, which is showing local authority level uh, cases and covered related deaths. Um, I won't pass judgment on the particular chart design, uh, but um, I didn't particularly like it. And again, I wanted to see if we could improve on this. Next slide. The key reasons that I don't particularly, I'm not particularly keen on either of those outputs, those dashboards, are one, Neither of them are open source. Uh, one's using ArcGIS. I'm not sure what the other one is using, the LG Inform. Uh, and as a consequence, they're not reproducible and not scalable. So here's an example in the next slide of an output that, that is. Produced by John Ben Murdoch, uh, the Financial Times. Um, he using, is using data from the, uh, John Hopkins University which uh, like Tom was mentioning, it's available on, on GitHub as a CSV uh, and regularly updated. So he's using open data. He's also using ggplot, which is a, a graphics package in R, which is a programming language. Uh, and if you go to the next slide, he makes the code used to create that chart available in a gist on GitHub. So it's reproducible and it's scalable because I can just tweak the code and, and visualize different countries uh, rather than the ones he's decided to show. So using that as a model, uh, we decided to create our own apps that were reproducible and could be scaled uh, using R. So next slide. So two of the apps I'm showing you here, we've got the, the local COVID app and a COVID-19 monitor. They're kind of interchangeable, the names, I can come up with decent names. Um, but the, the main idea is that uh, you're provided with a, a local authority snapshot uh, of the COVID data. So cases uh, from Public Health England and deaths published by Office for National Statistics. On the left-hand side, the local COVID-19 allows you to drill down uh, quite a granular level in terms of the different types of data sets, uh, local authority level. And on the right-hand side is kind of an early warning system which shows you the weekly change in coronavirus cases at a local authority level, it gives you uh, some day moving average and, and a map. Uh, again, both of these are written in, in R shiny, so they're reproducible. The next slide, please. Uh, and it turns out these apps have been quite popular. So the, uh, we host them on what's called shinyapps.io and they provide some useful metrics. The metrics at the top for application usage relate to an app that is Traffic Council's corporate dashboard. You can see that's not very popular. 
uh, over the last week in comparison to the bottom one, which is the local COVID-19 app, which has had over 100 hours of usage in the last week. So it's getting a lot of action. Uh, next slide. And that's borne out by some of the positive feedback that we have had on, on, on Twitter from complete strangers, people working in uh, other local authorities, uh, NHS, Health Foundation, etc. Uh, which is really heartwarming that people are using the apps. Um, and the Karen Hodgson at the bottom is seems her dad seems to be using it for the same purpose that your uh, father is Paul, which is interesting. Um, next slide. Again, it's reproducible, it's all done in R. So we post all the code on GitHub in dedicated repos for each of the uh, applications. Uh, and it turns out that um, some people are forking this code. Well, not, not, uh, not uh, discreetly, I'd say, because it says zero forks. But uh, next slide, please. Essex County Council has uh, uh, rebranded, adapted our code. Uh, of one of our apps for their own purposes for, for Essex, which is, which is brilliant, which basically means it's, it's doing what we intended it to do. Um, sharing the code, make it reproducible, somebody can adapt it to their own purposes, uh, which, is, which is brilliant. Uh, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.